Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my review of this fantastic modular set. So this is the Greengrocer and this is set 10185. Okay guys, so I got this fairly recently from Bricklink, um, again one of my favourite Bricklink sellers. Um, this set actually came out in 2008, um, comes with 2,352 pieces, as you can see it's for ages 16 plus, um, and at the time, back in 2008, it retailed for £99.99 .99 in the UK, or $149.99 in the USA. Um, but for those of you obviously um, who know your Lego and know these modular sets it is worth far in excess of that now um, probably four or five times that value for a for an opened one um, but for a sealed box one they can go for anything up to a thousand pounds plus um, but it is a great set so anyway guys let's uh, take a look at the set itself and then we'll uh, give our review I do have Ethan with me again today um, so Ethan will share some of his thoughts too. Okay, and this set comes with three um, instruction manuals, um, which we can see here. One, two, and three. Um, so anyway, guys, there you go. There's your first look at the set. All built to complete. Really enjoyable build. Um, I ended up building this over a number of weeks. Um, just took my time on it. Built this first level. Then the next level here, um, and I built the last two because there is two levels there um, in one in one go, um, pretty much. Um, comes with four minifigures. I think the first one we do is take a look at those minifigures. Let's take a quick look at those now. Okay, so here's our first minifigure. So all these first these four minifigures are returned re referred as townspeople. Um, so there's the front shot of um, the first minifigure, you can see the print into the front of his torso and he's got the black top hat on. Okay, so no rear printing. Okay, now the second minifigure, um, you can see there with that front torso printing again, wearing some dungarees. Next up we have this uh, young boy, he's wearing looks like almost like a little um, scout uniform. Okay, and our final, minif final minifigure is this uh, female, you see there's no print into the torso or legs. Okay, and she comes with this cool looking pram or push chair. Okay, so there we go, there's the look at our four minifigures and that uh, pram accessory also. So let's take a close look at the green grocer and apartments building itself now. Okay guys, so there we go, back looking at the green grocer, which is the kind of this section here, down at the bottom. Then we have some apartment buildings up the top, and there's a roof terrace as well around the rear, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, this is obviously the entrance to get into the apartment, and also through to the um, uh, courtyard um, out the back. So first thing we're going to do is just spin this around really, and then we'll take a closer look at each level and some of the detailing, but just spinning it around so there we can take a look at that side of the building um, one of the things to point out the bottom you may not be able to see that but there are um, two bricks down there which you can put in the friction pins into from other modular buildings to join them together okay round to the rear um, so down here this is kind of this courtyard area um, we have this um, container here with a number of accessories in there. There's a brush, spade, axe, um, hammer or mallet there or something. You've got some 
um, plants growing up the wall there and over here again some more containers with some more accessories in here um, obviously our entrance to the rear of the building there that goes through to that's to the front entrance to the apartments that I just showed you um, fire escape coming down the rear of the building oh, there there is a door here back door um, and that will get you into the um, greengrocer's shop area so that's actually into the greengrocer's shop um, up the top um, we can see this terraced area here um, we'll take a close look at that in a second then round to the other side of the building um, down here at this side um, we have the friction pins down at the bottom here um, so again it can be attached to other modular buildings um, that side too so um, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so that we can start to have a closer look at each level okay so firstly just to show for those who aren't um, aware of the modular buildings they just do simply slot on top of each other like so so that comes off there and again if we just zoom in and down so there we go and get a better look now at the ground floor area um, of the uh, greengrocers so out the front first thing you can see there is some crates there with some apples and grapes red grapes and green grapes in there there's our front door there's another container here um, which is empty um, we have some decor um, around the door there they are printed tiles um, the clear door here Pretty cool clear door. You can see that open up. So you can now start to see inside the greengrocers. Try and get a little bit of light in there. Okay, well, we'll take a closer look at that from the top. Um, and again, there's that area there um, which leads you through or through that door there up to the apartment blocks. Cool looking lamppost and obviously the fire hydrant. Um, there and obviously the canopy above the top of those windows so let's get the camera off the tripod okay guys so now we are going over the top and looking inside so again see some great detailing in there um, so there we have some more containers with various food in there um, we have some carrots and croissants um, and bananas Okay, so there we have, you can just see that in there, that's our counter area, our till area. So there's the till there, and again there's going to be some more um, food, obviously represented by those um, studs. Clock on the wall there, um, and there's a really cool fridge there, so I'm going to see if we can zoom in through the front door actually. Yeah, so there we go, we can see the kind of the fridge areas back there now and get that to zoom in no, it doesn't want it there we go there we go see that's a bit better now really great job of those and um, we're obviously packed up there with cartons drink cartons cans um, and these do open um, there we go Let's open the doors up there so you can probably see a little bit better now the, uh, doors are opened up um, so yeah that's kind of those fridge areas okay so then moving over to this side um, we can see there if I just get the orientation back there's that entrance and there are the mailboxes um, for the apartments which are accessed through the door there and up the stairs so that's where we can see that there's those stairs and that would obviously take us up to the first floor which we will have a look at in a second okay so just looking in the mailboxes these do open so if we just open one up there and there you can see there is a letter inside that mailbox obviously waiting to be collected and just to simply close that back up like so so just spin this around now 
Um, and there's that rear door, um, obviously to get into uh, the green grocers. Some detail on the rear there, that's obviously going to be um, some sort of extractor for all the refrigerator, which is the other side of that wall. Um, some containers there. Um, again, there's a container I pointed out just a second ago, which has um, the various tools in there. Um, but there's that probably vine which is growing up the wall there. And again, that rear entrance there to get into um, the apartments and obviously those um, mailboxes um, that are there. Okay guys, moving up to the first floor now. We've got this rather cool looking large bay window. Um, then over to these other two windows with these balcony areas, some small balcony, balcony areas there. We've got obviously the plant pot on the end of that one there with the flowers growing out. And the way they've done these curtains inside is great use of these bricks actually. I think these look fantastic. Obviously with the curtain ties there in the middle represented by those um, yellow studs um, just some great detail and great use of the colors so first of all just spin this around and there we can start to see the fire escape um, obviously which goes up the building um, and again you can see windows windows there three windows going up nothing on the sides okay so now going up and over and to the inside so that's where the stairs come up from um, obviously the ground floor um, you can see the balustrade there steps going up obviously to the next floor and oh we've got a cat there hiding um, pretty empty inside these uh, first modular buildings um, I have to say there's few few bits of details like there for example there is a fireplace um, and again there's some accessories there there's a shovel there um, and an axe there, that's obviously going to be for the likes of coal and wood, um, etc. Okay, but that is pretty much it for that first floor. So, there's the, obviously the ground floor there. So again, I'm trying to do this one-handed and praying I don't break it. So that just slots on top like so. Okay, so let's get the second floor and have a look at that now. Okay, guys, up to the second floor now. And again, you can see that bay window continuing up the building. And on top of that, some great detailing. You can see there at the very top of that. Um, some windows, and again, with some great detailing underneath those windows there. And obviously, starting to run into the roof tiles as well now. And again, we will just spin this round so you can see the side there. Um, there's that fire escape there. So there's the top of the fire escape. So obviously the way you access that, if you need to, is going to be through those windows, which as you can see do open. Fairly um, bare for the rest, obviously, of this particular floor. So let's take a look inside now. And there we go. So, a little bit more detail in this one, but not a great deal because we have obviously a rug um, in this one and a radiator there on the wall. Um, and again, there is where the stairs come up from the uh, first floor. Um, and some more balustrade railings there going around the side. And obviously, finally, those are going to be the steps that lead us up to the final level, which is the roof terrace, which we'll have a look at in a second. Main detail in this, which they did a good job of, I do like it, is the clock there, the grandfather clock. Okay, so just zoom that in there so you can see some of that detailing. Apart from that, again, pretty bare up here, but obviously. You can set out whatever scenes you would like in here. 
even get more tiles and tile hole area, which is something I may do um, in the future. Okay, so that is our next level um, complete, and I will put it on top of that and then have a look at the final level. Okay guys, so this is the final level, so this is the roof and the roof terraced area. Um, so that is the front of the building we're looking at there, so obviously you can see the roof going up. Um, we do have some railing detailing there, going around the front, like so. Okay, so if we spin this round now, there's some obviously chimney detail there, coming out of the top. Um, some more vents there. Okay, and then the main feature at the top of this building, which is pretty cool, we did a great job with this, is this roof terrace area. So we have some, obviously, railings um, going around there. We have the two plant pots, obviously the red and the white. We have this umbrella or parasol on top of the little table there, and two seats, and these do swivel, like that. Um, and then over here we have a barbecue, um, which we can see here. So this can oh. this is on a hinge piece down here, a little bit stiff. There we go. You can see it there, so we can close it up like so and open it up like that. And there is a little utensil down there as well at the side. Um, a couple of windows there, and then obviously the door, which is coming up from the second um, level. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously you can put minifigures up there on the roofs um, themselves, and obviously have a bit of a party up the top here um, with some of your guests, and obviously enjoy a barbecue. Um, but that's it for the roof terrace and top floor so let's get that now put back up on top of there okay guys there we go that's my review of this set complete the green grocer set 10185 from 2008 anyway guys hope you did enjoy um, this review if you did so please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up please go ahead and leave some comments feedback and questions let me know what you think of these modular um, buildings and uh, obviously a bit of a party starting now up the top I'm gonna have a barbecue and hopefully a few drinks and oh we are being gate crashed there is someone trying to uh, gate crash the party. I don't quite know who that is. Uh, there we go. So anyway guys, um, please go ahead and give this video that big thumbs up before we go. Ethan, Second. what do you think of it? Mm, you quite like good. Quite good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed Ethan's... to say really, really Well, good. you say what you think. You don't suppose to. You say what you think. Really, really good. Yeah? They're good, aren't they, these? So uh, eventually we get to put that in uh, Lego City, which no one believes I have. And Where then... is it? Where's the Lego City? Um, In my bedroom. It's not in your bedroom. It's in your toy room. Um, On that table. Okay, yep. which eventually we will get to do, won't we? Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Cheers.